Hi, my name is Colin Castle, Intelligent Transportation Systems Engineer with the Michigan Department of Transportation. Currently standing in front of a dynamic message sign along westbound I-96 near Quigga Road, just outside of Grand Rapids. As you can see, the current message that's being posted on the sign is real-time travel times to two destinations, one being US-131 and one being M-11. The current travel time messages that are being displayed are updated every five minutes utilizing real-time traffic flow data. This data allows motorists the ability to have a better understanding of the current traffic flow conditions as well as allows them to make a more informed decision on seeking an alternate route if necessary. This uh, real-time traffic flow information allows MDOT to better utilize the current uh, investment they have made in these new and emerging ITS technologies and allow us to give the best information to the motorist possible. How do these messages get posted to the sign? We'll head to the West Michigan Transportation Operations Center to show you. We're currently at the West Michigan Transportation Operations Center in the MDOT Grand Region office. This is a location where ITS camera images are monitored and controlled as well as messages are posted to the dynamic message signs in the Grand Rapids area. Here's Jeff, a control room operator from the West Michigan TOC. Uh, he utilizes this advanced traffic management system software package. This allows him to uh, monitor the travel time messages in real time as well as override those messages with higher priorities such as incidents or accident information. As you can see here, Jeff has the advanced traffic management system software opened up and he clicked on the Quiggle Road dynamic message sign we were at in the field earlier. Um, as you can see here, it's currently posting real-time travel times to two destinations um, and how that happens is it uses average speed data to calculate the travel time and this is updated every five minutes. Another method of disseminating this real-time travel information is the MyDrive website. Now we're looking at the MyDrive website, which you can access by going to www.michigan.gov drive. And if you click on the current speed icon, the map is populated or color coded with the average speed that the motorist is experiencing in real time. This is a public website uh, which you can move around throughout the state and click on any one location or zoom in to be able to see more information about the given roadway segment. Here we have camera images, traffic incident information, as well as work zone information. These real-time traveler information systems are ways that MDOT fulfills its mission, which is to provide the highest quality integrated transportation services for economic benefit and improved quality of life.